guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Ocarina of Time. We just finished up with the big Poe side quest, and we've got all of our bottles now. Um, so we are going to get some more stuff, of course. So uh, we're going to head back up towards Kakariko Village. We're actually going to be climbing Death Mountain Trail a little bit. Um, I don't know if I've pointed it out or hinted to it or if Navi said anything about it, but um, the Death Mountain is definitely going to be our next um, sort of main story objective. Uh, we're going to have to do something about that cloud over it, so, I mean, you know some things are going on there, so we're definitely going to uh, be returning. Um, but actually, I'm going to head back up towards the trail because we can now finally get the final Gold Sculptula inside of Dodongo's Cavern. So, that's what we're going up there for right now. Um, and we are sort of going to advance things a little bit before we uh, do some more side questing, so we are sort of on the path of the main story for the time being. Uh, that's definitely good. Let's make our way on up Death Mountain Trail. We haven't seen this place either since we've become an adult. Pretty much the same, except there's a bunch of big rocks now, and I'm not just talking about laying there. They're actively rolling towards us, which is kind of interesting. But uh, for now, we're just going to ignore them. You can also see our magic bean has sprouted there, so that's cool. Um, but we're also going to ignore that. We're going to head back into Dodongo's Cavern, like I said. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just throw on Ferrar's Wind so we can get back here quickly. It's really not far. It's honestly just a couple rooms. So uh, this one will go pretty quickly. So we already have our war point, and let's continue on forward. Now, we're going to be heading back on over to the right, except this time we're not going to ride that elevator all the way up. Uh, we're going to... Uh, come on, man. Do you have to buck me right now? Uh, we're just going to head back over there. We're actually going back into that tunnel, and believe it or not, it's in that room. So, it is really close. Uh, so, let's let this thing come on back down, and then we'll jump on across. There we are. Alright, so avoid the Beemos and head on in here. We're going to have to deal with a couple baby Dodongos just because they like to sprout up in this room. But uh, quick spin makes quick work of them. So, you know, no big deal there. Let's make sure you get away from them because they do explode. And as you can see here, Navi is sort of uh, fluttering up to this little uh, alcove here. And you can also probably hear the Gold Sculpture scratching around. So we're going to bring out the Ocarina and play the Scarecrow song. And remember I said you did need this to get all the Gold Sculptulas. Well, this is one example. When we play it, Pierre here is going to come up and we can use our uh, hook shot to hook onto him. Like that. And get up to this alcove where the final Gold Sculptula and the cavern lies. So once we pick it up, we can uh, check out the map and see, yes, that's finally all of them. We had to revisit it twice. But uh, that's how it goes. So this should be, I don't know why I'm checking, it's 55. Yeah, because I just checked 54 earlier, so there's no big deal there. Um, but yeah, so we're done in here, so let's go ahead and warp on back out. See, I told you it'd be pretty quick. Alright, so let's get going now. Um, we're actually going to uh, be climbing up the trail a little bit. We're going to head into Goron City. So let's take the little leaf up here. This is actually kind of cool. You can also get the heart piece there. Um, if you didn't get it as a kid uh, with the leaf. But it kind of gives us a nice little shortcut back to Goron Village, so that's definitely nice. Um, I do, however, want it to be nighttime before we head in. So let's play the Sun Song real quick. And thankfully time passes here, so we won't get warped back to the cavern, which is nice. There it goes. And let's head on in. Yep, so this is Goron City, seven years later. As you can see, it's... A little bit empty. Pretty much the only Goron still around is this little guy rolling around here on this uh, third level. Not the big one we saw earlier, but um, yep, that's pretty much it. The place has uh, kind of been evacuated, so uh, we need to stop this guy and sort of get his word on things, so let's get our bombs out. And this one's actually quite a bit more difficult, I think, than uh, the large one. Um, so let's just try to time this out right. That was completely wrong. Oh, come on, that was so close. Yeah, it also has to deal with the fact that he's smaller, is what makes it kind of hard. And when he gets close to you, he turns around, so... Um, this might take me a few minutes. Um, if it does, then of course, well, you know you know what I always do, so... Alright, let's see if we can stop him. Um, let's see, he, he came up on the other side there, you know? It's like, what am I supposed to do? I didn't know where he was going. Ah, <sighs> alright. Ooh, that's good. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> Alright, so we stop him. How could you do this to me? You, your Ganondorf servant. Hear my name and tremble. I am Link, hero of the Gorons. 
Uh, actually, I think that's me, but, um, oh, anyway, what's up? What? Your name is also Link. Then you must be the legendary Dodongo Buster and hero Link. Ooh, Dodongo Buster, I like that title. My dad is Darunia, do you remember him? Oh, wow, he had a kid? Oh my gosh. Dad named me Link after you because you're so brave. It's a cool name, I really like it. Link, you're a hero to us Gorons, I'm so glad to meet you. Please, give me your autograph. Sign it to my friend Link of the Gorons. Oh, I guess it's not a good time to ask you for this. Please help everyone. Oh, well, geez, you should ask that first. My dad, Daruni, I went to the Fire Temple. A dragon is inside. If we don't hurry up, even my dad will be eaten by the dragon. B -b -boo -hoo. Oh, and he's gonna start crying. You better try to calm him down if you can. Maybe he'll calm down if you talk to him. Maybe so. All right, Link, time to get to work on your uh, child consolation skills. Let's ask... I don't know, these are both kind of sad and scary topics. Let's ask about the dragon. A long time ago, there was an evil dragon named Volvavgia living in this mountain. That dragon was very scary. He ate Gorons. Using a huge hammer, the hero of the Gorons, boom, destroyed it just like that. This is a myth from long ago, but it's true. I know because my dad is a descendant of the hero. B -b -boo -hoo. Oh no, he's crying again. Come on, don't you have a pacifier or something? Everybody was taken to the fire temple. While my dad was out, Ganondorf's followers came and took them all away. All of them will be eaten by Volvagia. Dad said that Ganondorf has revived Volvagia. As a warning to those who might oppose him, Ganondorf is going to feed them all to Volvagia. Oh no, that's bad. Dad went to the Fire Temple all by himself to try to save everyone. Please help, Link. I'll give you this heat-resistant tunic. Ooh, a new tunic. Hey, what do you know? All right, so we get the Goron tunic. This heat-resistant tunic is adult size, so it won't fit a kid. Going to a hot place? No worry. <laughs> yep. So we are definitely going to be going into a hot place. Uh, basically, the Goron tunic sort of removes the time limit in Death Mountain Crater. Remember, we went there before. Um, and it also sort of protects you against lava a little bit. Uh, we'll see that later. Uh, let's go ahead and put it on. It's new uh, stylish red threads there, which is pretty neat. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't really like it as much as I like the traditional green, but, well, whatever. We're going to be wearing it for a little while, so... All right, let's jump on down, and uh, as you also might have seen, the uh, all the doors have kind of opened down here now, so we can check it out. Um, I think the Goron store is still open. I'm pretty sure that guy's still hanging around. Yep. Uh, so we can buy bombs or the tunic we just got, or some red potion, which we don't really need. Um, we'll be filling the bottles back up soon enough. We also do need to get some more bugs back. I kind of hate that I had to let those go to sort of speed that up, but um, I'm sure we'll find them somewhere around here. You know, they're in abundance, so... Um, Alright, so we're going to head back to Darunia's room here, and of course he's not here, because the little Goron just said he went to the Fire Temple. Um, so we can check out this statue and pull it back. Somehow, I don't know how Link is that strong, that's kind of crazy, but whatever. So we pull it back and head on in, and as you can see, we're in Death Mountain Crater now. So, uh, kind of a little shortcut there, the sign here is just going to tell us that's back to Goron Village. Um, so let's go over and uh, check out this broken bridge. We can actually get across if we use the hook shot. And get right there. And continue forward. And of course, when we do, everybody's favorite mysterious person pops up. Sheik. It is something that grows over time. A true friendship. A feeling in the heart that becomes even stronger over time. The passion of friendship will soon blossom into a righteous power, and through it, you will know which way to go. This song is dedicated to the power of the heart. Listen to the Bolero of Fire. Sweet, so we've learned the Bolero of Fire. Link, I'll see you again. Oh, hey, holy crap, we just set things on fire. That's not nice. This bridge is made of wood. I'm gonna die. Oh, wait, okay, I guess we're fine. 
So he disappears, and we're left wondering what happened, as usual. But Link should be used to it by now. But we have learned the Bolero of Fire, which is pretty awesome. It's one of my favorite songs. I love the way it sounds. Um, and we can see it takes up our slot next to the uh, Minuet of Forest. It's another transportation song, which will bring us right here to Death Mountain Crater. In fact, it'll set us literally right on this platform. Um, so that's definitely good. Um, Alright, so that's kind of the Fire Temple we can actually go into. Um, if we head over here... That over there is the entrance to the fire temple. There's a little ladder that goes down. Um, but before we do that, um, there's actually a few more things that I kind of want to pick up. Um, I know it just seems like I'm putting it off, but um, eh, it just seems like a good time to pick up a few more collectibles. We're actually going to be getting quite a few heart pieces um, and a few more sculptures. We're going to plant another bean to get more heart pieces in here as an adult. So um, eh, it just seems like it all connects to me. Uh, so let's go ahead. I think we can warp from here, because we can warp in, so why couldn't we warp out, right? So I'm going to go back to the Temple of Time. It's so nice to have that song, because you're going to return there quite a bit. Um, it's probably going to be the most played song, but... Uh, we're going to head back here, and we are actually going to go back to our childhood for a little bit. It seems uh, kind of needed, actually, because we've been dealing with, uh, you know, dark and gloomy death and destruction sort of thing for the last two knows how long. So uh, I think we should uh, head back a little bit. As Sheik said, we can just drop the Master Sword back in the pedestal. And we're a kid again. Awesome. So yep, yeah, that's pretty much how it works. Um, you know, nothing big and fancy. It seems like if we're a kid, we should just be go be able to go back and stop Ganondorf from coming in after us. But um, I don't know. I guess the timeline doesn't work that way. Go figure. But um, we're also let's see. We're gonna actually head back to Hyrule Castle. It seems like kind of a weird place to go. Um, we can't check on Zelda anymore, obviously, because she's well not there. But um, we are going to actually pick up a Sculptula in the area, so I think I'm going to do that real quick, um, and then we'll probably end the video right after that. So let's head back up to the castle, which is this way. Thankfully, it doesn't matter if it's day or night. Uh, we can come up and pretty much sneak in the same way again. It feels like it's been forever since we've done this, but... Oh, come on, climb the thing. Yeah, I don't know. I'm debating whether or not I should keep this in. Usually, as a rule of thumb, if I'm thinking about it, that means I should be cutting it out, but, well, whatever. We haven't seen this place in a while, so that's kind of fun. And we get to uh, sneak up this hill again. Which is kind of tricky, actually, I gotta admit. Ooh, all right, there we go. I always feel like I'm gonna get caught by that guy on the side. Well, anyway, we're about here, so I guess, now ah, we might as well just keep it. So let's head on over, avoid that guard, and climb up the little patch of bricks here. I'm not entirely sure why that's there, but uh, we'll just be grateful that it is, I suppose. And come on over, jump in the moat, do the whole usual thing. Pick up some money that we don't even need. And here we are. So our destination is actually not back in the castle over there. Oh, the boxes are still stacked up. That's kind of cool. Uh, it's actually this tree right here. For whatever reason, I don't know why this is. Um, if we take out the ocarina and play the Song of Storms next to it... A hole just magically appears in the ground over there. If you had the rumble pack thing, the controller was actually vibrating there, so... Um, you would probably try to bomb it first, and then you'd realize that's not working, so let's try every random thing I can think of. And here we've got kind of three different walls to bomb out. There's only one that we need to, uh, which is the one that has what we need. So uh, let's go ahead and take care of that. And as you can see, there is a gold sculpture on the wall here. So we're going to use the boomerang again. It feels like, I don't know, it feels weird being a kid again, but I guess that's how it goes. And, okay, well, I guess we'll kill that one too. Why not? And there we go, got that gold sculpture token. Let's uh, go ahead and head back on out. And there we go, that's pretty much all I came in here for. Um, so if we want to get back quickly, let's just get caught by the guard. You have to literally walk, like, walk into him before he sees you, then he does a little circle. That's uh, kind of crazy. But we'll throw us out, and there we go, we can get back into town. I really want to go back into town, because I want to see it not populated by Redeads. That would be very nice. Phew. Alright, there we go. 
So, uh, yeah, next time we are going to go pick up a few more collectibles, go back through time again and pick up a few more collectibles, which sounds fun, right? So, <laughs> until then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.